Hello beautiful Virgos, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot. We're getting the overall energy for your love reading. Um, let's setting intentions. Let's see what we have. Grace, wise woman of the grove. Having grace, dignity. Well Virgo, you are graceful. You are dignified. So we love that about you. Sanctuary, mystic meadow. You definitely want a relationship in which you feel very safe, very protected, one in which you can really share intimate, a lot of intimate time with your special person. Moonlight enchantment, the magic. Oh, you guys. Oh, I'm so happy for you. That's beautiful energy. So let's look at, and we're going to see the framework of where you're at in your love life at this time. We're going to clarify with people who are coming and going and all the details. It is going to be a two-step reading. It is going to be this basic reading and then followed by your person of interest thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions. So let's get started. Let's see what we have here for you. So the overall energy at the bottom of the deck is <laughs> new love, Ace of Cups. The readings for love this week are off the charts. Love is in the air. The, the star card, Aquarius energy, which is all about manifesting a divine love. A love that, you know, is beautiful inside, outside, hopes and dreams for love coming true in Virgo. You have this very beautiful Taurus energy. You're willing to do the work. Your person's willing to do the work. So, let's see. In the recent past, you were really of two minds, really speaking to the fact that you were undecided about somebody. Right now, it appears that you've had some heartbreak. It feels as though, you know, you might have been in some sort of third party situation in which somebody was juggling you. You could have been juggling somebody else and you really want to end that now. Um, we see Ten of Swords walking away, feeling defeated, feeling as though, you, you know, you want your happiness. You're walking into your happiness. So we're seeing, Virgo, that you're going through a very big transformation in your life. You're doing it with grace and dignity. Three of Wands. You're looking for the person that you'd like to have a good life with. This is all about the beauty of the moment, living in the moment. But this is choosing, really getting to manifest who it is that you want. Someone with whom you have a beautiful future. Someone with whom you can travel. Someone with whom you can, you have fire in your belly. You know, it's ticky torches, starry nights. And enjoying living in the moment with somebody who sees life in the magical way that you do. And look at this card, Moonlight Enchantment. If that's not Moonlight Enchantment, I don't know what is. So I love this energy for you, Virgo. It's quite, uh, quite beautiful. You are going to use your head. You're going to make a head over heart decision. No matter how much you love someone, you're going to definitely look at them in a very balanced perspective. Libra balance, the Libra queen energy. You are definitely not going to just fall madly in love with a random person. You're, not, you're going to hold back. Right now, you feel very vulnerable. The moon card, you feel as though you don't really know what's going to happen but that's okay. That's part of the journey. We see this five of coins. It looks as though somebody left you in the cold. You're feeling very vulnerable, but again, there is a key. There is a lock. So lift your head out of your shoulders, Virgo, and know that your future is assured, but you have to believe in it. We have the king of pentacles. Spirit is recommending that the person that you choose, the advice of spirit is let this person in. The King of Pentacles energy, beautiful passion, loyalty, someone who shares your values, someone who's on the same page with you, and somebody who will do the work with you. The outcome right now in your love life is six of coins equal give and take. Really being willing to give to the relationship. Someone is willing to give to you in this relationship. So it really looks as though you transcend a period of time in your life that's been going on now. You've been sad, you've been lonely, you feel disheartened. But let's see the two of coins. So what is the decision that you'll be faced with? What is the decision? Okay, you're not going to return to someone. 
that someone who you've been on and off with, that this person is somebody who has broken your heart, you're really not going to give them a second chance. You're closing out a, a cycle that has not been successful and you're trading up, Virgo, you are trading up. You're trading up to someone who's going to be very reliable, very enlightened. That world card is Aquarius energy. Someone who's lived life, someone who's very strategic like yourself. The Seven of Wands energy, you are defending yourself from heartbreak. You are not having it. If anybody has put you in a competitive situation, if anyone has really attacked you or your feelings, you are simply standing up for yourself. Page of Pentacles, you have thought about this a lot, and you are simply not having it. Four of Swords, you are in um, the mode of healing right now, Virgo. It looks as though you're taking time out, you're getting some good rest. That's exactly what Spirit wants you to do. We have the Three of Wands. You are trading up, you are leaving somebody who is really wounded you, somebody who has criticized you, somebody who has said terrible things to you repeatedly and you really were, you know, a warrior who pushed ahead, but now you already know. I feel that most of you with this Three of Wands energy, you know the person that you want. You, this is somebody who you are already acquainted with. So tell us something more about the Three of Wands energy looking into your future. It's bright, it's beautiful, and you're going off on a mission to tell someone how you feel about them. You're rushing forward, Four of Coins. You don't want them to get away. You definitely want this person in your life. It may have been somebody that you didn't um, really think of seriously, but look at that. Emperor energy really speaks to the fact that you are very strategic right now, Virgo. You want what you want. You want to have this divine partnership. The king, uh, excuse me, the king of the kings is always looking for their divine counterpart and strategically doing so. Why is the three of wands here? The nine of swords, your worries are over. Things that kept you awake are no longer keeping you awake. A new person, this new person that you want in your life, somebody that I feel most of you have already met. If you haven't met them, you'll met them. You will meet them. <laughs> a little Mercury retrograde there. Can't quite quite speak properly. Let's see. Okay, so we have Page of Swords. You're watching somebody on the internet. You're keeping tabs on somebody with whom you care about very deeply or that you have an attraction to. You're very much studying them. Page of Cups, somebody that you really have some feelings for. Those feelings are really emerging at this time in a way they haven't before all the way up to that ace of cups you want to offer somebody love that's where you want that's what you want if you don't offer them love they're going to offer you love and the queen of swords energy is clarified by that ten of swords you're never going to go back again to that person who hurt you in the past doesn't matter what they do you know, it looks like that person had a lot of player energy. You're just not having it. There we go. Queen of Swords, you know. The Queen of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the player energy, and the Queen of Swords. Judge Judy, for those of you who are in America, is a tough-nosed, uh, you know, hard-nosed. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You are not accepting anyone into your life that doesn't show the best and highest regard and the a high level of honesty with you. The Nine of Wands, you have fire in your belly. Somebody has fire in their belly for you. Now, the Five of Coins, the Five of Wands, and the five, Seven of Swords. So that energy is that you're really recovering from this person who hurt you so badly. The Seven of Swords, they lied. It looks like they could have taken some of your money. It looks like they were always kind of in this fighting energy you had fire in your belly but boy you've lost it you have lost that fire in your belly for the past you're just you're not going to participate in that somebody who is very much dishonest yep there you are single and ready to mingle <laughs> virgo that's your energy that is totally your energy 
So Virgo, you are looking good. So when we look at the five of coins, the hidden energy is that you felt left in the cold. But look at this. We have a knight, or excuse me, not a knight. We have the king of wands coming in. The king of the kings are always people who want to be married. You know, so we have different options. You have a king of wands, you have a king of pentacles, and you have this emperor energy around you, whether that's your energy or could be also the energy of the person that is attracted to you because you're getting attention. Everybody sees you. You're looking good. You're feeling good. You're very clear. You definitely want new love with somebody who's going to be totally honest. Ooh, fire in your belly. Very strong Leo energy. Leo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. You, that's what's hidden that you don't yet see, Virgo. Four of Wands. Every single sign I've done this morning, you're my fifth, has ended up with like new love, energy, stability, joyfulness. That four of wands is a bride and groom dancing under the garland at the wedding. The You really want someone that you can have fun with, but you also want someone who's very stable. So we see nine of cups. You feel alone right now, but the party has not started yet. You have a king of pentacles energy that is very much interested in you. Uh, king of pentacles is Taurus energy. Nine of cups is uh, Pisces. So you are intuitively understanding that the person that you want wants you back. Look at that two of wands, making a choice, making a choice with that three of wands, four of wands. So it shows that the choice you make is going to be for new love because when we get the two, we go to the three, now we go to the four, beautiful. So what do we have? We have the six of coins. Why is it here? Tell us something about the six of coins. Eight of coins, leveling up, eight, nine. When you go 8-9, you get to the 10. You have legacy marriage. But your person, what's happening is that you have left another person behind. You are definitely, you're finished with that cycle. You've closed it out many times. Somebody has hurted you. Hurt you. What I'm seeing here, hurted you. Oh, boy. Okay. So what I'm seeing here, though, is that you are, in the near future, really coming to grips with the fact that you will never be in a relationship again where the person doesn't do the work, where they don't have equal give and take. If they lie, you're walking. So even as you move forward in your love relationship, you know that you have very set limits about what you'll put up with and you are simply not going to accept anything but the best good for you. So tell us what, let's get two more cards here for your outcome before we go to your POIs, thoughts, feelings, and intentions for you. You want love, you want to have a harmonious environment, you want tenderness, you want nurturing, you want someone with whom you can really be close to and right with a new beginning. So there we have it for you, Virgo, a new love interest, and you are still processing the pain of the past, but you will get through that very, very clearly and very quickly. So I'm going to pick up these cards quickly. I'm going to reshuffle and we're going to look at your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, actions, okay? Only your person. So we see the energy of what they have in mind with you at this time. So let's see what we have. So I want everybody to tell me what's going on with this Mercury retrograde. Everything in my house melted down. My speech has melted down <laughs> a little bit, but my dishwasher, my video editor, my computer, everything is kind of a muck right now. So it ends on the 18th of October. So let's see what we have for your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions towards you. All right. Virgo, you've been really hurt. Somebody has really exhausted you. And that's hard to do. Virgo, you're so hardworking. Very hard to exhaust a Virgo. Okay. So let's see what we have for your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions. At the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Swords, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Your person probably is healing. And we have that King of Wands again, making an offer. Oh, there's the Emperor. Okay, so let's take a look at this. All right, their thoughts. 
they are all up in their head. They are feeling as though they don't know how to proceed forward. I think your person's a little bit shy. I'm reading that your person would be very reluctant to rush towards you because it looks as though this person knows you very well. Your relationship looks like you may have worked together or you may have been just really close through friends. But I'm really seeing that your person uh, wants to rush in towards you. Honey, I'm home. Um, but they feel like they can't do it quite yet. Timing doesn't seem to be quite right is what their thoughts are. Your person, Virgo, wants this beautiful spiritual relationship of enlightenment. The star card is Aquarius energy. It's about having a love relationship that is beautiful inside beautiful outside it's hopes and dreams for love manifesting and that's what they think of you they feel as though you are their rock star and they are rushing towards you it looks as though you know in the recent past they've been very subdued so you may not know what this person's really thinking at this time but that's why we're doing this reading your person loves you the heart space they absolutely adore you look at that holding their heart really out offering their heart to you this person loves you six of cups you've known them for a while six of cups is a friendship or an acquaintance or a relationship that's been very um it's been somebody that you may have known since childhood but it's all about also your person wants to grow old with you the dog represents that they want to be loyal to you they feel as though you're the person for them you're the only person for them in their heart space, they feel really obsessed with you. You know, sometimes this person could be tempted to manipulate, but I don't think they will with this pure energy. We'll clarify that devil card, but they can't get you out of their head. They really feel as though they're in a situation. Now, I do feel with the devil card that they also feel in their heart space that you might have been manipulated by someone because this looks like an ongoing or a longer friendship or an acquaintance like i said that of somebody that you know very well the king of pentacles here you here it is again your person absolutely intends on being loyal faithful passionate stable they want to build a life with you the Five of Coins says that they do not feel, we have these two cards, they don't feel as though they can move forward right now, but they will. Okay, so when we look at their intentions, they feel as though you're in a time that you need to be left alone. But right there we have Cancerian Energy, somebody again who intends on nurturing this connection with you. When we look at their actions, fire in their belly, we've seen this Leo card, courage, strength, optimism, this energy that says that they have fire in their belly, the infinity is symbol as they want to go through eternity with you. This may be someone that you've known in every life if you believe in past lives. I certainly do, but we have the Three of Cups. They want you to be their best friend. They want to, they have fire in their belly. They're going to make this work. They're going to do everything they can. And they have walked away from something that was not serving them in the past. So let's clarify that energy in terms of what we see here for your person. What did they walk away from? But they're walking away from something in the past to you, okay? So what do we have? Justice card. So I feel for many of you, you are with somebody or your person feels as though you're getting a divorce or you're leaving a relationship that was a committed relationship behind. They are waiting in the wings for you. Waiting in the wings for you. So Virgo, that is your reading for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from and tell me what Mercury retrograde has you know, what's going on with you? How do you resonate with the reading? Thank you. Bye-bye.